Today we're going to continue with our Project 1.8 Build a Body app, and we're going to be adding a solution button to our user interface. Now when adding a solution button, our design requirements or criteria for this is that when the solution button is clicked, the organ systems will be shown in their correct locations. The components that we're going to need for this is a button that will be renamed to solution button. Now as far as updating our user interface, we're going to need to insert a button into column two into that table arrangement one that we had previously added. This should be found in between your start and reset button. Once you add that button to your screen, we're going to need to go ahead and rename it to solution button. We'll set the font to bold, set the font to 14, set the width to 25%, set the shape to be rounded, and then change the text to read solution. Now that we know how to update the user interface, let's go ahead and take a look at this in MIT App Inventor. Now that you're in your MIT App Inventor, it's time to go ahead and add that solution button. Now we're going to be adding our button and placing it within the second column within that table arrangement. Remember that this should be in between your start and reset button. So go ahead and take a button from your user interface palette and drag it into that second column. From here, we're going to go ahead and rename that as solution button. And then we're going to go ahead and change some of those properties. We want this to be able to match the remaining buttons within our program. So we're going to go ahead and set that font to bold. We'll leave the font to 14. We're going to go ahead and set the width of our button to 25%. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and change the shape to make it rounded. The last thing we're going to need to go and do is change that text from text for button one and go ahead and put in solution. Once you have solution added there, you now have your solution button that you can use. Now for our block view. The logic that we're gonna be using for our solution button when clicked is that basically when that button is clicked, we wanna call those organ systems to move to wherever those placements are on the screen. So for example, your brain would then move to the brain X and Y placement. You'll also wanna set the organ system placements visible to false, and set the organ systems enabled to false as well. So let's go back into our MIT App Inventor and see how this would be programmed. Once you are back into your MIT App Inventor, it's time to go ahead and program that solution button. So we're gonna to need to go ahead and find from our block view that solution button that we just added and bring in a when solution button clicked event handler. From here, we're gonna to need to go ahead and call all of the organ systems to move to the correct location. So in order to do this, we're going to need to go ahead and find our organ systems and we're going to find that block that says move to on the X and Y. Now we're going to need to go ahead and duplicate that three additional times and we're going to change that call feature from the brain to the corresponding organ system. So we'll have our digestive system, we'll have the respiratory system, and we'll also have our urinary system. The next step is to go ahead and place the correct coordinates. So if we go to our variable drawer, we're gonna find this get. And within that get variable, we're gonna to need to go ahead and duplicate that a couple times and place it into all of the X and Y placements. Now, once you have those in place, it's now time to go ahead and connect the correct variable. So for example, my brain is going to be moving to the brain placement on the X axis. And we'll also go ahead and put that on the Y. For our digestive system, we'll find the X and the Y. And then for my respiratory system, same thing. Find that X, Y, and Y placement. Last but not least, you have your urinary system. And now that you have all of the correct placements in place, it's time to now go ahead and complete the remaining portion of this solution button. And that is basically to turn off those placements. We don't want to be able to see them. So in order to go ahead and do this, we're going to need to go ahead and find those placements and just make them invisible. So in order to go and do this, we're gonna to need to move on to this next step. You will need to find one of your placements and we're gonna bring in the visible. Now, when we bring in this set brain placement to visible, we wanna turn it off. So we're gonna go ahead and change that logic over to false. Once you have that completed, you're gonna to need to go ahead and duplicate that again three more times. And then we'll need to go ahead and change each of those placements again to match all of the organ system placements. So I have my digestive system, my respiratory system, and my urinary system placement. Go ahead and drag those into that event handler. The last step is to go ahead and now create that enable. 
we want to be able to take those organ systems and prevent them from moving about the screen. So we're going to go into one of our organ systems. We're going to find that enabled block. And just as we did before, we're going to need to go and make that logic and make that false. Once you have done that, go ahead and duplicate that three additional times. And again, we're going to need to go ahead and change each organ system to the correct organ system as well. Now, once that is complete, your solution button is done and we can go ahead and test this on our companion app. Once you are ready to begin testing your app, go ahead and open it up on your MIT app companion on either your Chromebook or tablet. Now, in order to check to see if this works, all we're looking at is the solution button. And when that solution button is clicked, all four of those organ systems should be placed correctly. All of the dots that we see for our placement should become invisible, and then we should no longer be able to move those components. So go ahead and click on that solution button, and you can see all of those organ systems go right to the correct location. Now, in order to check, we're going to go ahead and grab some of those organ systems, and you can see that as we try to drag them out, they will not move. All you need to do is select the reset button to put everything back in place. At this time, you have now completed your Project 1.8 Build a Body.